Hi everyone, welcome to the product demonstration on D3 Security Smart SOAR. Today we'll be going over the issue of siloed security tools, what you stand to gain from solving this problem, how current SOAR solutions tackle it, how Smart SOAR does it differently, and a demonstration using a phishing attack scenario. Right now, individual security vendors can only detect a limited number of MITRE tactics and techniques on their own in sophisticated attacks. While great at what they do, they are siloed. This leaves multiple attack surfaces exposed and vulnerable. Security leaders like yourselves are left choosing between either consolidation or staying with the best-in-class tools. Solving this problem has major upside. Gartner predicts that by 2024, organizations that adopt a cybersecurity mesh architecture to integrate security tools so that they work together as an ecosystem will reduce the financial impact of individual security incidents by 90% on average. There are five core building blocks that make up Smart SOAR. The first is reporting and analytics. Within Smart SOAR, users can create custom dashboards, automatically send them to stakeholders, and track KPIs, SLAs, and attack patterns. The second is correlation and link analysis. Users can find patterns between alerts, extract those artifacts for analysis, and automate response to new TTPs. The third is best-in-class integrations. Within D3, users have access to unlimited integrations, which are built and improved by D3's research team. We take 100% of the responsibility of integration development from our clients. They don't read any API docs or write and build and test any integration code. The fourth are D3 lab playbooks. These are cross-dimensional, vendor-specific, and MITRE-compliant playbooks for advanced attack scenarios. The fifth is the event pipeline. This eliminates tier one tasks by consolidating, normalizing, triaging, and prioritizing all incoming alerts. Most SOAR vendors offer one or two of these capabilities, while Smart SOAR offers all five. In this demonstration, we'll be focusing on one of the five pillars, D3 Smart SOAR's vendor-specific playbooks. They identify gaps through cross-dimension correlation and present SOX with a comprehensive picture of advanced multi-stage attacks so they can take informed mitigation actions. The different security data dimensions that D3 Smart Sword playbooks track are environments, artifacts, security vendors, time, and MITRE tactics and techniques. While other SOAR vendors can monitor patterns across one or two of these dimensions, D3 Smart SOAR covers all five. The example we'll be looking at is an advanced phishing attack. Initially, CrowdStrike created the security alert when it notices the suspicious process running on our PC. Then we use D3 playbooks to query all of our different security tools to complete the picture, including the initial access with the phishing email, the malicious file, the connection to a C2 server, the exfiltration attempt with Mimikatz, and lateral movement to PC2. The tools we'll be using in this demonstration are CrowdStrike, Splunk, Microsoft Defender for Office 365, Azure AD, and Palo Alto Networks. Each tool is one of the strongest in its category, but when combined all together, creates a comprehensive picture of the attack scenario. Now we'll be going over this demonstration in detail. Here we are in D3's investigation dashboard. This is where all of your security alerts are consolidated into a single queue. The alert we'll be looking at today is a suspicious process detected by CrowdStrike. We'll be using playbooks to complete the picture on this alert. Here, you can see the MITRE tactics and techniques that have either been included in the original alert or found and added by the D3 playbook. All of the results are summarized inside the investigation tab here, so analysts don't have to go and look through the playbook step by step. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll walk you through the different stages so you can get a better understanding of how D3 Smart Sword playbooks get a complete picture on alerts and fill the gaps between each of your tools. As the original alert was created because CrowdStrike detected a suspicious process on the device, our first goal is to find out where this process came from. Here we use CrowdStrike to pinpoint the parent Excel file and then Splunk to search for the zip file that contained it. 
Here we found book33.rar. Then we use Office 365 to search for any emails that contain it as an attachment. This brings us back a list of recipients and the original sender. We run enrichment on the recipient list to find information from Azure Active Directory and get their activity logs for review later. Once we have their activity logs, we can search for any related information from their host, processes executed by the original file, and outbound TCP connections. For any suspicious TCP connections, we get process details on those IPs and consolidate the artifacts into a single command here. What we're looking for are any domains that could potentially be a C2 server. Here our conditional task is triggered true, and we look for additional information on the server using WebRoot. Once the C2 analysis has been completed, the analyst is left with the option to isolate the host. Rather than going through the playbook step by step, we can look at a timeline of the activity using the investigation tab. It starts with a summary and the original CrowdStrike alert. It continues to include all information originally pulled in by the playbook. This happens automatically, and as you can see, the analyst is presented with a consolidated and organized list of all information related to the entire attack scenario. In summary, security leaders have pursued a best-in-class approach to choosing tools. This created silos, which increased complexity and created blind spots. Filling these gaps can reduce the financial impact of incidents by 90% or more. Large security vendors have widened their capabilities, offering more all-in-one solutions. Security leaders now have to choose between consolidation and sticking with best-in-class. D3 is the best in our category for stitching together these tools. Our customers do not have to make this choice. The next step is to book a day-in-the-life demo with us today and see how analysts use the tool every day. Thank you for watching the SmartSore demo.